Hey, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aries. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this weekend. Spirit messages for my Aries. Messages for my Aries. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, you're in a little bit of a down mood. You're feeling depressed about something. Mm -hmm. There is some anxiety that is happening. Um, and you're, you're feeling very stressed out in the situation. Because you've been working really hard and feeling like the more work you put into something, the less you're getting benefits from it. <sighs> Because you have had a phone call or a text message or an email that caused you some concern concerning something in your life. It could have to do with a relationship, a relationship that has now begun. You could have received some disturbing news about this person or you could have received some disturbing news concerning something to do with this person. But you admire this person a lot. And you hold them in high regard. You hold them in high honor. And you really, really, really do admire this person. Now you're thinking about messaging this person or having communication with this person. But as for right now, I see it just being a thought. Alright, so let's jump into the towers and see exactly what is happening in the situation for you ladies. Spirit messages for my Aries. Messages for my Aries. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, you're not wanting to take a risk or take a chance on something on, or on someone. So you're holding back and you're contemplating what it is you should do. But there is something that you are waiting on or you have been waiting on. You've been waiting for something to come in to you. Probably concerning an offer of some sort from an Aries Leo or Sag. But you see this person as being someone that is frisky. It, the energy coming off here, you feel like this person is playing games. They are a player. Um, it feels to you like this person is not serious about what they are saying to you. So you're not seeing long-term commitment with them. Because you feel like there is something that is being hidden from you. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer you're dealing with. You could have this in your chart. But you feel like you have all these romantic feelings for this person, but it feels like this person doesn't have it. You feel to yourself like it is not reciprocated by them. So you're afraid to really jump into this and to do anything about it or to start something new with this person or to really invest your time into it. Because for some of you, you could be married. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're waiting on. But you see this person as someone stable, grounded, committed, loving, caring, kind. But for some reason, it's like they have this in and out energy that you always question. You're always questioning everything this person says to you. 
because sometimes it seems too good to be true to you. So you're afraid to take that leap of faith towards them because you feel it's not going to work out. But just remember your fears is what will manifest if that is what you're focused on. Yeah, for some of you it is a third party situation. Or you really want a coming together with this person. For some of you that it is a third party, you are questioning if it's to leave where you are at to go towards this person or if it's to stay where you are because you find this person to be very frisky, like I said. But you're finally letting go of blocking your own way and I think you're finally just letting things flow the way it's supposed to. And I think instead of putting up a resistance, you're letting it flow the way it should. Alright. So you could be dealing with a Leo, you could have it in your chart. But you're trying to find the courage to deal with this situation, to make the correct decision when it comes to this person and this situation. Because you don't really see them as wife material or husband material. Could be a Libra or a Taurus you're connecting to. For some of you, you're married to a Libra or a Taurus. That's for those that, that is in a third party situation. Alright, so for some of you, you do not see this person as marriage material. Because of the fact that they're always in and out. Or the fact that they have you as a part of a third party situation. That's for some of you. For others of you, you are married and your relationship with your wife is not where it's supposed to be and you entered into a relationship with another person and now you're not sure if you want to be with your wife or you want to be with the new person. But you're not expressing your love to anyone at this point in time. You're holding back from both people for those of you in the third party situation. And for those of you that you're not in a third party situation with another person, you're holding back your feelings for this person. You're not expressing how you truly feel, you're not expressing what it is you want. But what it is you do want is a new beginning in love. You want to offer this person a relationship. You want to offer this person love. But... You feel like this person is not going to reciprocate it. You're questioning them because of the in and outs that they always put you through. You're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid to state how you truly feel towards this person. Because you feel the connection, but you always question it. Could be a Gemini some of you are connecting to. But you feel this magnetic pull towards this person and you keep resisting it because you are questioning if this relationship is real or not. So you have decided to take some time out to do some self-healing, to do some self-examination, to try to figure out exactly what it is you want in this situation. Because for those of you that it, there is three people here, you want to make sure that you make the right decision because you do not want to leave where you are to go towards someone else and then they flake on you to go back it would be something that you really don't want to do all right so that's for some of you but you want to be happy you want to have a happy home a happy life a happy wife car house you want the whole nine yards and you want it with the best person possible so you're quiet, you're withdrawn, you're going within, you're looking for the answers that you seek. For some of you, you're questioning which one of these women that you can't live without. Because you're trying to leave the past behind, you're trying to leave the third party situation alone. 
and start something new and stable with with one of them so it's either you're going to return to your wife or you're going to start something fresh with this other person yeah but you're ready to offer your cup of love to one of them could be a Scorpio Pisces or Cancer you're connecting to but you're ready to offer your love to someone yeah because you are ready to take charge of the situation you're ready to step into your own energy and you're ready to take charge of the situation and offer a commitment to someone because honestly you're tired of sneaking around you're tired of hiding you're tired of pretending So you're going to make a decision between, for those of you that it is a third party, you're going to make a decision. Yeah, you're definitely going to make a decision here because you have been in a stalemate for some time between the two people. But now you're going to finally make a decision because sneaking around is hurting both people and you. And I think you're tired of the whole situation. So it's either for some of you, you're going to return to your wife or you're going to, yeah. You're going to move towards something. You, you want calmer waters. You want to move on from a specific situation because the third party is not making some of you happy. And you know there is a choice that you have to make. For some of you, you're connecting to a Sagittarius and you're going to be moving towards that person. But you are looking for balance in a situation and you want healing and reconciliation with someone. Yeah, because you feel stuck. Because you can't walk away from this person. Whoever this person is, could be a Sagittarius, like I said. But you're moving towards them because you can't walk away from them. You don't want to walk away from them. But they may have told you that they're not going to be part of a third party situation anymore. And this is what has you wondering and contemplating exactly which one to choose. For those of you, it's not an actual person. This person is ready to have some type of healing and restoration in this relationship. Because they may be connecting to a Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. But this person is in their emotions. So if you're connecting to one of these signs, Aries, this person is all in their emotions. So they are making irrational decisions at this point in time. Because they're not seeing you as being the person that they want to be with forever. Because they're questioning if you are their forever person. There is some healing that needs to be done here. And I think you are the one to say yes or no to someone. Because there was an ending here. There was an ending here. And I think that caused you to finally shake up and realize which one out of these two people that you do want. And you're going to move towards somebody and offer them love. Because you have been stressed out about the whole situation. And I think you're coming to a conclusion as to which one of these people that you do want. Because you're not happy where you're at. That is for sure. Alright, so let's see what is the most likely outcome for my Aries in this specific connection. So you're tired of hiding, you're tired of pretending, you're tired of sneaking around, you're tired of being deceptive. Mm -hmm. And there is a decision that you're going to have to make, I've been saying that. But the decision is going to take some time for you to make it. Or you're going to wait for divine time and to step in and things to work out how it's supposed to. But one of these people 
holds the keys to your heart and and you know this and i think you're weighing your options as to which one of them it is because you have learned a lot of lessons from one of these people and you have learned a lot about yourself in the process of this um conflict that you have been having between two people it is going to turn out to be very abundant it is going to definitely be abundant there is going to be a lot of love here a lot of prosperity here but you have to make the choice first all right because being deceptive and deceiving is not getting you anywhere all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good weekend